going on guys welcome back to the channel you know who it is by now so ladies and gents we are back back with another episode of board breakers and we're doing some heavy testing this week as i try and figure out what deck i want to take into the new format i was playing the realist tri brigade but obviously that got annihilated on the forbidden and limited list so the deck is nowhere near as strong as it previously was or currently is up until february the 7th anyway so i decided to kind of think about what deck i want to go forward with and there's a few choices that i have and i'm probably going to be doing a couple of board breaker episodes this week just to figure out what deck i really want to take forward and um, i've got a few ideas um but this time thief regulator was one of the decks that i was kind of interested in mainly because it makes a nice turn on board it can actually go second depending on the type of hand that you draw so we'll have to wait and see but nevertheless, we're facing a typical tri brigade board. Now, what I will say is this is always going to be the bare minimum of what you can expect, ladies and gents. You're going to be seeing way worse than this. But I always say if your deck can play through three ne um, negations or interruptions, then it's somewhat competent. So we're just shuffling up here. We're going to cut our deck. Hopefully, we draw a decent hand, something that allows us to play. So we'll cut our deck and then we'll go into test hand board breaker number one. So starting us off, we've got one Cypher in Gear Gamma, we've got one Time Thief Winder, one Time Thief Startup, one Performage Hat Tricker, we've got one Time Thief Bezel Ship, which is nice, as well as one Raid Raptor Mimicillaneous. This thing is a brick. This is not going to be doing nothing at all. All right, so starting us off. We're gonna special summon the hat tricker because there's two monsters on field, so he's there. Then we're gonna activate our time thief startup to special summon our winder. And then winder's gonna activate his effect to be able to search us a spell or trap. Now my opponent's got a couple of decisions to make here. Um, does he negate? I should have special hat tricker in attack position to be honest. So let's put that in attack position. Um, my opponent's only got two two um, negates. Obviously, I've got eighteen hundred attack. He's gonna want to negate something because obviously I can just beat over the Appaloosa with time thief winder anyway. So we'll assume that my opponent's gonna negate that. So Appaloosa's on one negate. Then I will proceed to the battle phase um, here. Um, and I will go to attack the Double Dragon Lords with my Time Thief Winder, which will definitely bait out the, um, the Double Dragon Lords to bounce my Time Thief Winder. Otherwise, it's going to get beaten over. So we'll say he sends a tank here to Graveyard as cost. Winder gets bounced back to hand. Um, and then Hatchick can then beat over Appaloosa because it's only on 800 attack. So Appaloosa's gone to the grave. And then we'll go to main phase two. So we've got a couple of decisions here. We'll normal summon our bezel ship because we need to get that into graveyard and then overlay these two into the first of our raid raptor four tricks. Um, and then we'll special summon the winder by detaching the bezel ship and then activate four tricks is effect to be able to detach the hat tricker to be able to search us a monster, a raid raptor or wing beast monster to be more specific. So in this instance, we're gonna go for our, if we can find it, raid raptor singing lane, yes. We'll special summon the singing lane, yes, because we control a um, XYZ monster. Then we'll link these two off into our Y streaks. Y streaks will activate its effect to special summon a um, Raid Raptor monster from our deck. In this instance, we'll special summon Singing Lanius. Then we'll overlay these two into our. Second four tricks will detach the it doesn't really matter which one you detach to be honest, but we'll detach the winder to be able just make sure we can see our graveyard to search us our 
Strangolanius, I believe. That probably would be the most optimal one. So we'll search our Strangolanius. And then because our um, XYZ material, well, because a XYZ monster, a dark one was um, activated, Y Strix will activate his effect to set a um, rank up magic straight from the deck. And in this instance, we're gonna set our Soul Shave Force. We're gonna activate Soul Shave Force, paying off our life points, targeting the four tricks in the graveyard to special summon it. And then to go into our Cyber Dragon Infinity. Oops, let's move that out of the way. We're gonna activate Infinity's effect to be able to just swallow up the Double Dragon Lord so there's no monsters unfilled anymore. And then we can use our Time Thief Bezel Ship in Graveyard to detach a material from the Y Strix to be able to special summon itself. We'll link these two off to go into our Rusty. Rusty, now this is where it gets interesting, ladies and gents. You can do one or two things here. So Rusty can send a um, Raid Raptor. Sorry, Rusty can send a Phantom Knight monster to the graveyard, but our, let me just show you so you know, to set a monster, our Raider's Wing is actually counts as a, um, a Phantom Knight monster. So if you do draw the one of um, Silent Boots, um, you can actually dump the Raider's Wing. And do we want to dump it here? It probably might be a good idea, to be honest. Um, it might actually be a decent idea. So we'll dump the Raider's Wing to be able to set ourselves a Shade Brigadine. So the board that we could potentially end on could be nice. So then we'll activate the Brigadine, summon itself. Then we'll overlay these two into we'll set we'll put it here. Into our time thief redoer. Then we will activate our Strangolanius to be able to special summon itself. Targeting the Raider's Wing in the graveyard because we control a XYZ monster with a dark material to special summon and the Raider's Wing. We'll overlay these two into, hmm, decisions. Decisions, decisions. We'll overlay those two into, we, we could go into Evil Swarm Nightmare. Do we want to do that though? Yes, we're going to Evil Swarm Nightmare. So there you have it, ladies and gents. That's our end board. We've managed to break the board. We've got rid of all the threats and we've got a double book of moon in the form of Evil Swarm Nightmare. Um, we've also got uh, a spin in the, in the form of Time Thief Redo and we could actually net ourselves a draw if we actually take a spell off our opponent's deck in a standby phase. And then we've got Omni Negate in the, fact, in the form of Cyber Dragon Infinity and that's going second. Um, there are a couple of things that I could have probably done differently, like put the... Um, put the Raider's Wing on the Time Thief Redoer to stop the targeting. Um, but nevertheless, it is what it is. The board is broken and that is test board breaker number one, ladies and gents. And this is why I enjoy this deck. Just look at this field, it's absolutely crazy. So yeah, and if there was any kind of back row, for example, you could just always summon the Evil Swarm Nightmare to the zone that Rusty points to to just pop anything. So nice, nice board indeed. So let's get into the board breaker test hand number two.
Okay, ladies and gents, board breaker test hand number two. Now, like I said, I do really enjoy this deck and it can actually play through a couple of negations going first. Um, if it does not get checked with any kind of like hand track or anything like that, the board that it can produce is just absolutely crazy. It just, it doesn't die to Dark Ruler no more or Droplets, uh, providing your opponent doesn't send a trap off Droplets because you normally end on a uh, counter trap, which will swallow up the droplets anyway and, and net you a draw off time fee free do it, which is crazy. But yeah, it can make some stupid boards, especially with Dark Requiem XYZ Dragon, just being able to just negate, constantly negate um, monster effects, probably about three to be honest. So yeah, very nice indeed. So again, we're faced with the same board. Um, Going second, we've got two double negation in Appaloosa as well as a bounce in Double Dragon Lords. And I'll be honest, the bounce with regards to this deck is a little bit more detrimental, especially if you don't have the correct um, extenders in your hand. So starting us off, we have one Soul Shade Force. Wow, okay. One Time Thief Retrograde, that is not good. One Zeus Arm Sage, which is not too bad. One Time Thief Adjuster. One side frame gear gamma as well as one time thief winder. Okay, so where do we go from here? Hmm. Where do we go from here? Who in this instance the gamma is a little bit dead to be honest. We could go the same route that we went last time. So let's see what we can do here. Um, we can't actually special summon our thingy, but we can actually get a search. Hmm. So we'll proceed to normal summon our Time Thief Winder um, and activate its effect. Now, if our opponent does decide to chain the Appaloosa, that's fine. But we can't really go much further, to be honest. So we'll activate Winder. Winder's probably going to get met with some kind of negation because my opponent's probably thinking if you if you've normal summoned the Winder, you must have extenders in hand. So. You, you might as well just blow the apple losing the gates before it gets beaten over. You could actually use, um, after the negations are already used, you could use your double dragon lord sending the apple loser for cost um, to be able to activate his effect. Um, so we'll say that it's negated that. So now we're in a bit of a situation. We could special summon our ZS Arm Sage, but it's not really going to be able to do much because one of our cards is going to get bounced. Um, And we literally can't play from there on in. Uh, actually, what am I doing? So because Winder was summoned, um, I can actually special summon Time Thief Adjuster. Now that puts some pressure on. So actually, it's a, all right, so let's play this out correctly because I, I actually didn't think about this when, when I was doing it. So if we normal summon Adjuster and then we'll go chain link one, Time Thief Winder, Chain Link 2, Adjuster. Now, obviously, she's gonna, he's gonna wanna negate something. Um, and if he doesn't, it's gonna be a problem. So we'll say that it negates the effect of Adjuster to be able to special summon itself. So that's down to one negate there. So then um, Winder will resolve to be able to get me a search. So I'll actually add the... If we can find it. Time for you to start up. And we've got an extender in hand. I actually didn't see that line of play. So before we use our time for you to start up, we can special summon our um, uh, ZS Ascended Sage. And then we can special summon our time for you to start up to be able to special summon our adjuster. Now we've already tried to attempt to use its effect to um, special summon itself so we don't get the dump off that. 
Um, however, oops, that has been used, that's in the graveyard. However, our opponent's in a situation. So from this instance, I'll definitely go into battle phase. Um, and I would attempt to attack into the double dragon lords first and foremost. I know it's on 1600 attack and um, via its own effect. Um, so I'll attempt to attack into the double dragon lords. Now he's gonna wanna bounce something. He's gonna bounce one of these cards. It doesn't really matter what card he bounces because I'll be able to make some kind of XYZ play. Um, so we'll assume that he'll bounce the um, he'll bounce the winder, sending the um, fire formation tankiest cost. So winder gets bounced, so I won't be able to tackle over the double dragon lords, which makes sense because you want to keep bodies on board. Um, our adjuster would then attack over the Appaloosa, so that's the Appaloosa negate plan. And then main phase two, I can proceed to play. So we'll overlay these two and go into our four strix. We'll activate four strix's effect um, to detach the time thief adjuster. Now, you could actually put some more of the ZS stuff in this deck, actually, to be able to keep popping off, because if I decided to make a Utopia monster, then um, I could actually add a ZW monster from deck, which is, means you're running a few more bricks, but it's an option nonetheless. So we'll add ourselves, who do we want? We'll add ourselves the find it there he is we'll add ourselves a singing lane yes now the cool thing about this ladies and gents is we can uh, special summon a singing lane yes then we can activate winder's effect to detach material And then special summon itself because you can use each effect um, uh, once per turn. The first effect to search and the effect to summon itself is you can use each of them once per turn. So now we've got another rank four on field um, because we're going to link these two off to then go into our uh, Y Strix. Y Strix will activate his effect to be able to special summon from the deck a Raid Raptor monster. And we're going to special summon our Mimicalaneous. It can't be used as link material, which is not really a problem, to be honest. Um, so, we're going to overlay these two to go into our. We'll find it. Our, our second Y Strix. We're going to detach. It doesn't really matter which one did we detach here, but just to play it safe, we'll detach the uh, Mimicalaneous. Open that up to add ourselves the Strangolanius. Then we'll over we'll link these off. To go into our to find them. Same line of players before to be honest. To go into our Rusty Bardish, Bardish will activate his effect. Oh, in fact, oh my days, I've just missed it. I've just missed something. All right, so it's mandatory, it has to work. So when I summoned, when I activated the XYZ, um, four strips actually allows you to set one from deck. Well, you have to set one, it's a mandatory effect. Um, I've sequenced this wrong, but I can still I can still do this. So from there we'll dump the if you can find them, dump the um, boots to be able to set ourselves a shade brigadine. And before I forget, and before I get locked into darks, we'll activate the soul shade force. Target in the Raid Raptor Force Tricks. Special summon it. Grab our Cyber Dragon Infinity. Activate Infinity's effect to swallow up the Double Dragon Lords yet again. So broken it the same way. That goes to Grave. 
Then we can special summon our um, Shade Brigadine. And then because we control an XYZ monster with a dark material in the form of Raid Raptor Force Tricks, we can special summon our um, Strangolanius. Then we can special summon our, doesn't matter which one, we'll go into our um, Singolanius. Then we can actually banish, banish our Mimicolanius to be able to search ourselves a Raid Raptor card. And in this instance, we're definitely gonna grab our Raider's Wink. So as you can see, ladies and gents, this deck just snowballs like out of control. It's just ridiculous. So now we can make two XYZ monsters. We'll activate Raider's Wing to detach a material from our Cyber Dragon, which is gonna be the Double Dragon Lords to be able to special summon itself. It gets banished when it leaves the field, but obviously we're gonna use it to make a rank four. So in this instance, we're definitely gonna to wanna to get our... Um... Hmm. Yeah, so we'll overlay these two into our Time Thief Winder, which will put our Time Thief Retrograde online because we control it a, a monster. And then we'll overlay these two. In fact, did I want to do it that way? No. Let's go back. Let's go back. We'll overlay these two. to make our Time Thief Winder, because Winder will have a spin and it also puts our Retrograde online, so it will have a spin in the form of Shade Brigadine because it's a trap and I'll just put it back onto the top of the deck. And then we'll overlay these two into our Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Then we shall set our Time Thief Retrograde and that is board broken, ladies and gents. And look at the follow-up here. So we've got Cyber Dragon Infinity as a um, Omni Negate, as well as a Swallow Up on my turn. We've got a Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon that we can then go into our Requiem by activating our Soul um, Rank Up Magic Force by banishing a monster from Grave, which is fine, Dark Monster. It doesn't matter which one. He can actually just get rid of like, he's got three monster negates basically. So he's got three materials. It's not once per turn, he can um, negate three monsters. We've also got a time thief redo that will swallow up a card off our opponent top of a deck in a standby phase, as well as have a spin. And, and depending on what he swallows up, if he swallows a trap, I can get a drawer out of it. And then I've also got a counter trap in the form of time thief retrograde. So not a bad showing ladies and gents. And obviously if time thief redo it decides to, um, decides to um, use his effect to spin as well. So he can detach two materials if he wants to, he can detach these two um, and banish himself to the end phase. I can actually, when I use Dark Requiem's effect to bounce, I can bring back an XYZ in the graveyard, which would be our Raid Raptor Force Tricks. I can summon it to um, Rusty Zone and then that will net me a pop. So just loads of options there, ladies and gents, loads of follow-up, um, loads of interruptions. Oh yeah. So that is it ladies and gents, let me know what you think. Um, this deck is a little bit fragile, I need to put some more extenders in it to be able to be able to still play um, if any of my monsters get removed or bounced because you know when someone gets bounced in this, you're in a very, very tough spot unless you've got loads of extenders in hand, which is something that I'm not currently running at the moment, um, but I'm looking to put in. So definitely probably gonna be doing that in the future. But let me know in the comment section below what you think of the um, board and if you would do anything differently. Um, yeah, so as always we find ourselves at the end of another video if you did like this content You know what to do by now hit that like button share subscribe all of that beautiful good stuff And I will definitely definitely see you guys on the next video. Hope you enjoyed peace